Hello guys, today we are back with another video on the channel where today we are playing Minecraft. And today I'll be showing you five easy farms that you can build within the first like the first five days of you playing Minecraft like on a world. So let's get on with it. So the first farm over here is a real duplication farm. Now, duplicators are complicated, yes, but this one's not really complicated. For this farm, you will need just a couple slime blocks, um, two observers for each, like you'll need four slime blocks for, um, for one module, two observers for one module, a sticky piston for one module, and any kind of rail, because this works with any kind of rail. And as you can see, it's very efficient because now I have five six almost six stacks of rails so we can just go like and get all those rails out of our inventory it's all them out of my inventory into those hoppers down below like the like the subscribe button down below oh and by the way everyone we are almost at 75 subscribers we just need one more person to subscribe to the channel, and then you will be the 75th subscriber if you subscribe today, and then we'll be able to start a new club. So, make sure to press that button down below as I get these rails out of my inventory, because there are so many. Hopefully, the video doesn't get laggy for you. But yeah, if you turn one of these on, as you can see, it starts duplicating. And as it duplicates, it will drop them into the hoppers below. And then into the chest, as you can see, the number's going up, which means it is working. So that's the first farm. And you'll probably need a lot of iron just to make, like, one of these modules. Because you will probably need, let's see, so this is a 6x3 area which means you'll need about 18 hoppers to make one of these modules. And then you'll need the stone, and then you'll need the observers, which means you need to go to the nether for those, but it's not hard to get to the nether within your first day of Minecraft. And then you have the slime blocks, and then the rails. So yeah, you're probably gonna need a lot of iron just to build one of these modules, which is where our next farm comes in. Let me just turn these on and see how many we get by the end of the video. Okay, so our next farm here is an iron farm. Now, iron farms are very good at producing, well, iron. So, what happens here is these villagers are getting spooked by the uh, the mob that is undead and green. Yes, that's def that's definitely what that's definitely what it's called. That is definite. That's definitely no. It's definitely what it's called. Okay, so what happens is. The villagers want reinforcements, which they spawn in an iron golem as their reinforcements, and it will land into the lava, which then it, the iron golem will burn, and then the iron golem will land, uh, the drops will land into the hoppers, which will be for us to use as we get a lot of iron and poppies. I almost have a stack of poppies in here. Crazy. Okay. So... The reason is, um, to stop the, like, the, the reason why we have a lot of carpet here, that, that, that took me a long time to say, I'm sorry, but, oh, an iron golem has spawned, you can, so, yep, so it starts to burn, it starts to crack, and then, as you can see, the iron will drop, it gives us iron, and the reason why we have a lot of carpet here is to stop from the iron golem spawning down here or else you know it will you know spawn there and make the farm inefficient and we would have to kill them all the iron golems off ourselves so yeah that's why we have a lot of carpet here for mob proofing and the next farm will help you get a lot of carpet and there's another iron golem and it is Surprisingly, another duplication farm, but this one's an automatic carpet farm. Not a carpet bomber, it's a carpet farm. 
So you flip these on, and as you can see, it starts launching the carpet out of here and then into the hoppers. And the hoppers collect it. And again, as I was building the rest of the farms, we have a ridiculous amount of carpet. No one's ever going to need that much carpet unless you're doing a large scale project with a lot of carpet. Like if you're building a blaze farm, like a massive blaze farm maybe, or mob proofing the nether, or mob proofing just like an area, or making some sort of fun land, then this will be the farm for you. Now, I do not have an automatic wool duplicator, so you'll have to build a sheep farm for that. So, the next one over here will help you get a lot of these blocks that you need, mostly the stone. This is an autumn this is a manual stone maker kind of thing. So if we go grab the tool, we need one of these. Okay, and then we'll go into game mode zero. Or yeah, game mode zero. Oh, we'll just have to do the survival and tab and then there. Then we start mining. As you can see, it starts making the stone, and then it'll collect into the hoppers, and as you can see, you get stone, or cobblestone rather. If you put silk touch on here, then, like, on your pickaxe, then, like, if you put silk touch on your pickaxe, then you'll be able to get stone. But right now, we just have cobblestone. So yeah, that's this farm all done. Okay, let's go back into Game Mode Creative. And there we go. So as you can see, it's a very efficient farm. You'll get a couple hundred per minute, I will say. So it's very easy to get cobblestone. And next, we have the last farm. It's a manual wood farm. Now, you will get a lot of farm. Uh, not a lot of farm. You'll get a lot of wood from this. I'm using spruce wood because it's the easiest one to get a lot of wood from. And from this, from this farm this is a i believe it's a four by eight platform right there for the trees to spawn well not spawn but you place the trees you'll need about 32 saplings spruce saplings rather to get a lot and you will get um around if you do this for around eight minutes you'll get 641 logs per eight minutes which is an equivalent of 80 logs per minute which is which is an equivalent of almost 300 wait yeah 320 planks per minute which is a lot and you also get saplings from this and sticks which makes it a very good farm if you're making tools so that's all the farms that i have for you today and if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make all these farms i will gladly make them for you but only if you leave a like and tell me which one you want me to do first whichever one gets the most amount of votes will be the next one that i build so out of these five farms i want you guys to vote in the comment section either a type a in the chat if you want the rail farm type b in the ch in the not in the chat but i meant comments type b in the comments if you want the iron farm type c in the comments if you want the carpet farm type d in the comment if you want the cobblestone slash stone farm and type e in the comment if you want the tree farm okay so that's all i have for today thank you all for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and the first one to subscribe today will be the 75th subscriber so if you want to be that 75th subscriber tap that button down below if not the 75th maybe you're the 76th 77th 78th it, we can go on and on but i like to thank you all for watching thank you for watching the first minecraft video on the channel and i will see you guys next time and goodbye